One, two, three, four. Great cup. Our Army Navy was a not for me. Great cup. Air Force was just a too easy. Great cup. What I need was a little bit more. Great cup. I need a life that is hardcore. Great cup. Paris Island where it all began. Great cup. A little rock with a lot to say. Great cup. I can't forget about Hollywood. Great cup. San Diego and it's all good. Great cup. PG drill all day long. My name is Napoleon Williams. I'm a Master Sergeant in the United States Marine Corps. Uh, I've been in the Marine Corps 27 years. I'm Anthony DeLeo. I'm a Corporal E4 in the Marine Corps. I've been in for just about four years now. How are you doing? Uh, my name is Asa Betancourt. Uh, Staff Sergeant in the United States Marine Corps. And I've uh, been in the military for over, a little over 15 years. My name is Corporal Tomasi. Uh, Travis Tomasi in the civilian world. I'm in the Marine Corps. I've been in for uh, three years. Uh, my name is Eric Hansen, Lance Corporal. Uh, I've been in the military for three and a half, going on four years. And my name is Sergeant William McConnell. I've been in the military for over 26 years. Um, getting ready to retire here uh, in a couple of months. So, E3, Lance Corporal, William Aponte, been for three and a half years now, and uh, currently a rifleman in the infantry. Well, my name is Carlos Rodriguez. I'm a corporal in the Marines. My name is Vicente Coronado. I'm a staff sergeant. I've been in uh, 10 years plus, and um, I like what I do. I'm a water support technician, but I've crossed over to uh, operations chief, so I do electrical power grids and uh, drilling from anywhere from 5 kW generators all the way to 100 kW. From SEI uh, training, I've never seen a more intense course that's broken down very simple so you can grasp it. Uh, what I do like about it the most part is it's not just book work, but it's also hands-on. So when, with them two combined, it's almost a zero failure rate because you, you're constantly out here. They constantly tell you what you need to do and how to do it. And they let you go so you can do the PRIC app, and then they come back and we discuss it. So I, I think the type of training and the intensity of training that we're getting it is I haven't seen it in a long time. This training has been, you know, spectacular. I've learned a lot of new things that I've never thought or never wondered about about uh, PB arrays and just the solar systems in general. They are really knowledgeable. They, uh, uh, they they've, they've all been in the industry for a long time, so they uh, they know what they're talking about. They've all done field work. You know, they're not just teachers, not just a uh, book train. They all uh, you know have done it all out in the field. So uh, they can actually like make you understand what they're saying, not just through like uh, theories, but through actual hands-on experience. Yes, the uh, classroom training was definitely uh, a good stepping stone for uh, PRAC app, knowing the uh, components and uh, having a basic understanding of electricity, so you don't get shocked. Basically, their their whole goal is you know number one is the safety of everything, and number two is to train us to do this properly, so that way we have a feel of what we're doing, we know what we're doing when we get up there, and it's a good fit for us as well as a good fit for the customer, be it residential or a commercial site. Oh, absolutely, this training's been uh, really good. I'm excited to get started on the hands-on portion of it. Last week we did a lot of the textbook learning, learning all about uh, how to set up a grid, how to convert it into DC to AC with inverters, a lot of cool things. The classroom training has gone well this, this whole week. Um, the instructors have gone in depth about the class material. Um, they've been very helpful, very knowledgeable, and uh, it's culminating this afternoon in uh, our little lab project that we have going on here. You know, the book, the book, the book, book work was actually really important. So now you understand. Now that we're doing this actual field work, it's actually applicable. It makes more sense. Just learning about grounding and the difference between grounded and grounding, and just the way the PV arrays work, how you can connect them to a grid and you can connect them you know to be off the grid to just be isolated from all the uh, general electricity which is pretty interesting to me it's very exciting uh, getting a feel for this new industry uh, for solar um, getting to actually play with the new gear 
uh, new components and uh, installing them for the first time. And well, today we're just uh, kind of installing the inverters and the AC and DC disconnects and uh, uh, that, that side of the system. Uh, you know, the, uh, the upcoming week we're going to set, set up the uh, solar panel array and uh, get all the wiring connected so we can uh, actually get power put from the uh, solar array and into the actual uh, system and you know theoretically onto a grid. Uh, with this training, I'm really hoping to get into the solar industry because I think it's fascinating on how like there's free resources and we're not using it. And now the, the United States is actually starting to get into it and the business is booming. So why not go into a business that you can make money and enjoy doing it? Because I love being outdoors and I would love to just get my hands on and start drilling in. What I hope to do with this, maybe one day I hope to open my own company. But uh, as I retire and transition out, I just want to land a job and learn all I can at the lower level so I can climb that ladder to be uh, very successful in, in the future. Yeah, I, I hope to take this uh, and like, uh, apply to like, the actual field. I, I, like, I like to work outside, so uh, I think this would be a good fit for me. Uh, I like to have been staying, it's a pretty booming industry, so hopefully I can get a job uh, installing or something. Um, I plan on going to school, so uh, this is really making me look into uh, maybe electrical engineering or something to that effect to uh, add on to my resume, so to speak, so I can uh, kind of progress higher. But, uh, yeah, it looks pretty promising so far. I would love to get a job in this industry actually, and then I'm actually working on my apprenticeship for being an electrician back at uh, back at work on the Marine Corps side. So I would really like to be a certified electrician one day, be able to travel around the states. Well, I'd like to apply it to my own house uh, first and foremost uh, when I get one. <laughs> um, put put up uh, uh, solar panels on my own home, um, and then and then go out and, and help others put solar panels up on their own home or their businesses. Um, and educate people as well if I can. Well, as soon as I'm done uh, with the training and I get ready to get out, um, I plan to get a job doing the solar, you know, within the solar industry and all like that. Um, yes, I'm probably going to go up and be an installer for a while just so I get my hands on, know exactly what is going on because can't very well be a supervisor or get into any upper level management or even into contracting without knowing what your um, employees are doing and how they're doing it and if they're doing it correctly. Well, I want to try to get my feet in the door and uh, start up in Marietta, California. That's where I live at. And then slowly try to move into integrating what I have experience wise instead of being an installer, going into doing grids, designs, um, and maybe move back to Nevada where my kids are. And as far as, you know, with, with all this training, what, what I see in the future is you know, I, I want to build a career. I have two children, you know, I'm married. So I want to be able to have a career where I can progress in the future, maybe become management, maybe a business older one, owner one day, you know, who knows. We, we know how to take orders. We also know how to think, you know, on our own as, as well as uh, being able to follow instructions, being able to read manuals and stuff like that and know what we're getting into is to start as we're going into the spec sheets of everything. On top of that, we also, you know, can work together as a team because being in the military, it's a very different dynamic. There's a lot of people that, you know, you may not have a chance to come in contact with. So it, it's going to be a good fit, as well as the fact that some of us have, you know, lateral experience, you know, being in the military as long as we have. I mean, you have a bunch of skills when it comes to being outside, especially in the infantry. You spend a lot of time in the field and training. You're always in the sun. So you get, you're used to the temperatures, you're used to the dehydration, you, you know how to actually survive out there being in the sun. Like attention to detail, you know, um, you know following rules and regulations, SOP standards, uh, you know, in the Marine Corps we learn OSHA criteria, so there's those, a lot of those criteria that we can apply into the solar industry, you know. Safety is huge in infantry, so when we're running ranges, so coming out here, being able to do a fail safe, you know, falling, and see how important safety is, I absolutely believe that this would be a great transition. You know, all the skills I have in the Marine Corps for the past 10 years, I'm going to be able to apply, you know, to their industry. I'm one of those persons that, like, you know, if I set a goal, I'm going to make sure I reach it and make sure I do it to the best of my ability. In, in the military, you know what you're getting your money for. You got discipline, you got re accountability, responsibility, leadership traits, all that. You know you're getting the package when you go for a veteran. So with this program, it offers me great training. Uh, with good background and ho hopefully I have a job at the end of this where I can start a, f a new career field into the future to support my wife and kids and as for the rest of the Marines and Sailor I wish that everybody in the Marine Corps or in the, the rest of the Department of Defense gets a hold of this training so in the future we have more 
um, job opportunities for transitioning Marines and sailors.